always keep a close eye on the forums, and recently there have been a number of inquiries about page formatting. So this video is the first in a series about this subject, in which I am going to discuss frames, text, and line breaks. I'm starting with a score already open on the screen. Usually it is best to leave page formatting until after you have finished editing the score. As you can see, I have already given the score a title and a subtitle, but now I am going to add the rest of the text you would expect to find on the first page of your score. So you can see what to do if you forget to enter it whilst creating a new score. So first, I'm going to select the frame in which the title and subtitle are placed. Now I'm going to show you how to manipulate the frame itself. MuseScore has two kinds of frame, vertical and horizontal. This is a vertical frame because when you double click it, a handle appears at the bottom with which you can resize it. The vertical frames occupy the entire width of the page and can be sized to include the whole page. Or just a small part of it. Vertical frames can hold certain text objects. If you right click, you will see them listed. The title and subtitle objects are already there, so I'll continue by adding the lyricist and composer text objects. Finally, I'm going to enter the copyright text object. For this, you need to right click an empty area of the score and move the pointer over text. You now have the text context menu open and as you can see it is split into three sections. I'm going to ignore the bottom two sections as you need to have a score element selected for most of these to work. Most of the top section too currently will not work, but if you choose the copyright text object, you will find a text input field opens at the bottom of the page into which you can type your copyright info. Now I'm going to append a vertical frame to the end of the score. This will eventually hold a text block, but needs to be done now, otherwise Muse score will not add it. Also, Note the empty bar at the end of the piece. That is also there for formatting reasons. It is time now to introduce the horizontal frame. Horizontal frames are useful when you wish to format music narrower than the configured margins. I'm now going to use them in combination with line breaks to format the score which is Ode to Joy, into a four-line hymn tune. First, I select the bar which starts the second line of the hymn. Next, I go to Create, Bars, Insert Horizontal Frame. This has split the system, so we need to add a line break to start the new line. 
go to the brakes and spacer palette and drag a line break onto the frame. Now repeat this for the third and the fourth lines. Finally, use the same Create dialog to insert a horizontal frame before the last empty bar, then delete it. Now insert another horizontal frame at the beginning of each line. Double-clicking the frame enables you to drag the handle to adjust its position. Now we use the handle on the vertical frame at the bottom to adjust its size. We now need to add a horizontal frame to hold the text block. So right click on the frame, choose insert horizontal frame from the add menu. After you've cleared the selection, right click again and choose Add Text from the menu. As you can see, the carré is now waiting for text input, which I'm going to copy and paste from a text editor. Finally, I'm going to use Control A to select the text block and set a suitable font. And point size. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you.